The structure on the bottom is a normal testis. You can see a nice capsule here. You could see the seminiferous tubules even at this stage. When we zoom in, if you wanted to, you could see the maturation from the outside of the tubule, from the primary and secondary spermatocytes, all the way into the spermatids and mature sperm that we see in the lumen of the gland. Every now and then, you may see some orange cells between the tubules, like perhaps here and probably here, which are the um, interstitial cells of Leydig within the interstitium of the testis as well. This is a nice, beautifully well-organized testicle. Here's some interstitial cells here, here are tubules here, uh, and here's the maturation pattern all the way from the periphery of the tubule towards the center in which you see mature sperm. The thing on top doesn't look anything like a normal testicle, but it's a testicle. So you could suspect right away that this is a tumor. And this is a type of tumor of a testicle called a yolk sac tumor. It's also called an endodermal sinus tumor because of its supposed derivation from endodermal sinus or yolk type tissue. And if you look uh, closely, you could see that it has kind of a trabecular pattern of growth not really terribly glandular, but there are structures like here, for example, um, and let's uh, look at the whole thing by itself. You can see that there are structures like here and here where the cells appear to be growing around kind of like a vascular area. In a way, it's like a papilla, but there seems to be just more of a blood vessel in the middle. This is a diagnostic feature of a yolk sac tumor or endodermal sinus tumor. And I'm going to drag in a classical one that I just googled and you can see how the tumor cells are kind of satelliting this blood vessel in the middle. That is a classical Schiller-Duval body making this diagnostic of a yolk cell tumor or endodermal sinus tumor. And now we here, here we are now in our regular specimen and I think I could convince you that perhaps here, perhaps here where we see a blood vessel, perhaps here's a good one too. We're going to see uh, other, uh, but perhaps not perfectly perfect, uh, Schiller Duval bodies showing this perivascular uh, pattern of growth in which the uh, tumor cells just kind of go around a blood vessel. Notice the cells themselves uh, are very poorly differentiated. Uh, this is considered to be another germ cell tumor and like virtually all the germ cell tumors of the testis is malignant and can be expected to behave as such. Thank you very much.